today I'm gonna be showing you some of the newest and most impressive Canva apps. If you're not using these Canva apps, I highly recommend you do. And so we're gonna go ahead and just get right into it because when it comes to Canva apps, there are so many amazing ones and they continue to keep coming out. If you don't have a Canva Pro plan, there's a link in my description to try it free for 30 days. And so today we're gonna begin with Magic Media. This is Canva's actual AI. Then we're gonna go and take a look at some other apps. But for the most part, this first one I'm sharing today is gonna be one of the most helpful and useful ones. We're gonna access this in any document that you wanna start designing. Right now, I'm in a YouTube blank canvas thumbnail design. On the left-hand side, let's simply select Magic Media. It's gonna populate with this window over here. Now, here's the cool thing about this. This is their AI image generator. So what we're gonna first go ahead and do is just describe some sort of an image that we want. But then watch what we do next, because as you can see right down here below, we have this new button or newer button that's called styles. And so again, I can select images, graphics, and even videos, okay? So the video one is still experimental, but for the most part, it does work relatively well. Let's go ahead and stick to images. Now to get some quick prompts, let me open up my prompt portal database. This database is nothing but AI images and AI videos, every single category and style imaginable. Now, obviously it probably won't create images that look this good, unless however, you specifically use Leonardo AI in Canva, which I'll also show you in a second. Let's go ahead and copy that prompt. And now let's head back over here into Canva. Now just go ahead and paste it in just like that. And now one more thing, this actually is Leonardo AI. So you can expect your images to actually look pretty good. So let's go ahead and generate this. First, we're gonna go ahead and do it just by itself, just to see how good it looks. But first, let me go ahead and remove a keyword. It looks like the word stripped may result in content that doesn't meet. There it is. It's that very last word, stripped, okay? Now, that's a secret meta token I'm using at the very end, so I'll remove this and attempt to generate this one more time. Okay, that seems to be working. Now, while this is thinking, we're gonna do one more thing. But first, wait, that was relatively quick. Look at that. Now, it did do a good job, all four of these very good. Okay, now watch this. Now with that same exact prompt in there, check this out. Let's go back to my prompts portal and do something completely different. This is really gonna blow your mind. All right, so let's come in here and let's open this up and let's select an image like this. I'll go ahead and download this one. We'll do that one and then I'll also come back in here and download something else. How about an image like this that's gonna be a more of a 3D render, okay? We'll have two going. With that same prompt copied in, hit that styles button on the left-hand side. Now instantly, we're gonna have all of these options that populate, but that's not what we're gonna use, okay? Now, these are gonna be very helpful because I have some to choose from but what we're going to select is upload reference image instead. Hit that button right there and I can actually select any of the ones I have already in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select this one right here of that humanoid of that woman and now select a generate again. Okay. And now there we go. Somewhat similar. Let's do it again and hit that styles button again and now upload one of the images we just got. Hit generate again. Let's see if it can make my scenery look somewhat kind of like this living room, that neon glowing one. And now look at that, there you have it. It did exactly what I was wanting it to do. And now for the last time, hit styles and upload reference image. And now choose that 3D rendered style of this little girl and her dragon. And let's see if it can actually transform my Viking into that. Look at that, pretty good. The ability to add a reference image with one of your own personal images. Okay, moving on. Now let's actually go to an app. It's called Video Effects. Okay, you can see bring photos to life with stunning animations. Let's go ahead and use in a new design. And now the first thing that we need to do is first bring in an image. So let's go ahead and choose a file. Okay, I have my image selected. Let's go ahead and now upload this one. You can see in the top left hand corner, we have Mario. Now the thing that's cool about this is I have my video effect type on the left hand side. We're going to have three to choose from. If I go back, I can also select my duration and I can even include a different background. I have two options. I can select see all or I can also upload my own background. But for the most part, let's go ahead and select a specific movement. And I even have this checkbox down in the bottom left to where I can add a zoom effect. Let's go ahead and select this one on the right hand side where it's going to bring in my character with like a matrix style glow. Now, one thing about this app is that 
that, you only get five use cases a day, but it does reset every day. Okay, it looks like it's done. Now, once you're ready to see what it looks like, select add to design. Okay, there we have it. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit larger before we hit that play button. And now let's go ahead and press play. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It adds that green matrix style of a glow. Very good. Let's remove this again and hit start over. Let's see what another one would look like. And now I'll select that middle one. Okay, select create video now. Okay, this one's ready to go. Hit add to design. Let's also go ahead and resize my design very quickly. Okay, I love how we can actually do this on the fly. Perfect. Now I can make this larger. It's going to fit and really get a very good look at what this turned out to be. Hit that play button. Okay, it's pretty interesting. It kind of brings in that background and like a glitch style. Okay, moving on. The next one you could see it's called Logo Genius AI. This one is pretty cool. And you can see what this does is it transforms your brand vision into logo designs. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Once it's opened over here in the top left hand side, you can see that we're going to have a few different versions. We can do a text style logo, icon, a mix of both, or just a simple image. Metrics mule. What text do I want in the logo? All right, we will just select that capital letter M and then what industry? We'll go ahead and leave technology on. And for my brand color, I'll stick to this blue one. Here we go. Select generate logo. Look at that. Look how fast and actually look how good that looks. Add to design. That is pretty impressive. Now, it looks like on the bottom left-hand corner, I only get one time to use this. If I need more, I can actually subscribe to it. Okay, now this next one, it's called Thumbnail Maker. Here we have it. Create thumbnails instantly. So now the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and bring in a image or a screenshot of myself from a YouTube video. Now, all we have to do is describe my thumbnail style in this prompt box. Box. Let's just go with that. I hit that try an example button. Let's just see how good of a job this does. Create thumbnail. Okay, so now this next one, this one is called AI Virtual Try-On. Okay, so before we go ahead and try Virtual Try-On, let's go back and take a look at our thumbnail and see how good of a job it actually turned out. Look at that. Okay, well, that is definitely an OMG style thumbnail. Add to design, let's see. Okay, so it made me more of a like a 3D rendered style version, but uh, for the most part, that's me and it did make the thumbnail. Well, unfortunately on this one, my limit was reached. You have no credits left, but the good news is, is that we only get one a day. However, it will refresh every day. So you can do this one time every single day. That's about 30 a month. But if you mess up on day one, you'll have to wait until day two. All right, moving on. Let's go back to our virtual try on. Okay, we'll start with just the examples down below. So I'll just select one of these women down here. We'll go with her and let's upload an actual garment. So I'll select her, but up here at the very top, I'm actually going to choose a garment instead, or why not just quickly generate one very quickly? So we'll do that. Since I'm in Canva, I'm going to go ahead and select Canva AI. And up here, we're going to go ahead and design one very quickly because this is actually Leonardo AI. Okay. One works. We'll go ahead and try this one. All right. I'll go ahead and download this one. There we have it. Let's go back back over here now and choose file. I got my sweater and I have my person down here below. Use 10 of 200 virtual try on credits. Okay. So we're going to get 200. Let's go ahead and generate this one. And look, look at this add to design flawless job. That's the sweater. That's the woman. Good job with virtual try on. This one is going to be called image recolor. Recolor your images using just a color palette. Okay. Now this is opening up. Let's go ahead and select an image in my design to get started. So I need to go ahead and first bring one in. Let's go ahead and bring in this image of this supercar right here and make sure it's going to take up the whole page. There we have this green supercar. Okay, now I can simply on the left hand side, select a recolor images or graphic design mode for images with flat colors like graphics or vectors. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the actual color orange. Click on orange and I'll remove this green one. Okay. It says adjust your color palette and select recolor image to apply it. Okay. I'll bring in this pink and orange one and now recolor image instantly up at the very top. It changes the whole entire thing up. If I remove one of them and do recolor again, now it's going to make it all orange. And it says for best results, arrange your colors from lightest to darkest. Okay. So I'll add one more. I'll add, let's say purple lightest to darkest. So we're going to rearrange it by clicking and dragging things around. Okay. Let's see. Now I'll do recolor again. Look at that up at the very top. If I select replace selection, 
Now, look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, there you have it. There are some awesome Canva apps I highly recommend you test out for yourself. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and